Hello YouTubers and car navigation lovers. We're gonna make an update to our quad core navigation, Volkswagen navigation on the Volkswagen ETA. The brand is drawing and uh, I get in touch with them. Uh, they send me the firmware and uh, how to install it. It's out simple in this uh, email description, but we will see. First thing they uh, tell us to open up to, let's see, and download M. CU, this MCU, and um, this update file, I don't know, has 4 meg, uh, 400 megabytes. And after you download, you must use um, the card, the SD, micro SD card on the GPS on the left side, because in about, you won't see an update after the navigation sees this uh, two files on the micro SD they uh, will automatically install uh, the update so let's see so you got to unzip and copy to the SD card without any folder yes I think this image so this is the one file and the other is this one you got to unzip them both and then uh, copy to the micro SD GPS card on the left side and insert to the left side of the navigation. So I am doing this update because I have uh, problems to the DVR application and I want to automatically uh, use that application because I use another DVR application and it uses a lot, a lot of resources. Um, the other uh, idea is to start faster, maybe I think they didn't tell me, but uh, I think this is 5.1.1, the Android uh, Lollipop, and uh, maybe, maybe it runs faster. I want a faster uh, navigation because that quad core uh, CPU must run smoothly. The other reason is uh, sometimes I'm having problem with the steering uh, commands and maybe I can use PowerM for example. Uh, player to uh, take the commands from the steering wheel and give why not the information through Cambos to the maxi dot. So guys, let's insert the card and um, you know I like uh, my um, Android devices and my electronics to run smoothly. Uh, you know how Android is, it blocks sometimes, you have problems with it. Uh, I installed the cleaner for Android, it runs okay, I think, but it can do better than this. So, okay, so we have a success, we have a firmware updating. So I want to measure the time, the boot time from uh, the, this old system to the new system. So let's kick in factory settings, backup on reset, factory data reset. Reset machine, erase everything. And uh, after this erase, I will put a timer and see how long it takes for the Android start. So now you have to leave him. The first time will erase everything, will take a long time. You, We can measure now. So we have to leave him uh, to start Android, then we give it a restart and then we'll measure. So let's insert the ignition. Start the ignition. Prepare the timer. And start at the first image. It starts the Volkswagen logo. Eighteen seconds. So it's a decent but great boot time. Um, but if you will load application and you load a lot a lot of applications you will have problems uh, with this navigation it even uh, shows me that my uh, front uh, right door is open so now guys 80 seconds is very good I'm curious if this update and uh, I don't want to have more problems with this update you know how uh, updates are some updates you can make you problems even bigger than uh, you ever had. So, let's install the new update. Check in the package. Reboot. Make sure you have a good battery and you um, and you on the entire process leave it like this, do not do nothing. 
uh, don't open the doors, it's best to avoid problems. So the update was made after 4 or 5 minutes and um, to my surprise is the same KitKat. Joying has provided me with KitKat but I think the bugs are gone. And I'm curious to see what improvements are in this uh, new firmware. So the first thing that I see in this Android system is that uh, the weather it disappears here and I have the speed button, the sound, I can dim the light, the backlight. And is that annoying uh, beep sound you have to configure the whole Android system. Okay, let's take out the, the key, permanently close and then we'll measure with, um, with the timer again. So guys, I did a factory reset just to see exactly how many seconds uh, without uh, any mistake, how many seconds will be the boot time in the new operating system. And we start the timer. Volkswagen logo and are the same 90 seconds with a small delay for me 90 seconds exactly like that one maybe a half a second more so uh, still we don't have to this DVR options for um, 4.3 or <laughs> to maintain the spec ratio we have to install a program but uh, the problem to this DVR was that uh, when uh, it reaches the maximum capacity of the uh, SD card or the main memory it didn't rewrite so this was a problem so this is the reason I installed another uh, application of the DVR to record the, the quality, the good quality and to rewrite when it uh, folds up the capacity for example if I give a uh, 8 gigs if I write 8 gigs of um, and let's uh, keton, this keton I don't like 8 gigs maximum storage to rewrite uh, after the storage is full the menu is the same install sources it's the same it's the same but in the about it will be different these numbers and uh, a few bug fixes i don't know exactly what joeing did but um, i hope it will be a better operating system that will not hard up after using uh, one year the navigation i will ask furthermore for joining for the um, android 5 and i will ask uh, them um, what uh, are the improvements for this operating system for this um, kitkat update and i will post in the description so i will start this application and i uh, hope it will work I don't remember guys this good but in the previous system I had the location and how much space is needed um, I hope I'm not getting uh, this wrong so guys if this video helped you if you want to comment if you have advices if you already installed this operating system please help others by commenting and leave your opinion in the comments and uh, tell us if you installed the Android 5.1.1 to this uh, navigation Thanks for watching guys, subscribe to our channel for more tutorials and reviews, have a great day guys, see you, bye!